the last time Israel and Hezbollah fought a war was in 2006. That's uh, many years ago, uh, 12 years ago. That is longer than any other space of time between wars that Israel has fought in Lebanon. The situation has been stable, relatively stable, because of a, uh, a sense that both had of the rules of the game. Now, these rules have changed because of the war in Syria. Uh, because now Hezbollah has uh, gone into that war as of 2012-2013 and has expanded its uh, influence there and so has Iran. And so for Israel, uh, it now sees that it, the front line with Hezbollah has extended from Lebanon into Syria and it is a very unstable situation. Uh, any miscalculation, any misinterpretation, any miscommunication could trigger a conflagration that neither side claims to want and we think doesn't want. We can take steps to, uh, to prevent an, an, uh, an escalation that would lead to a confrontation by having a, an outside mediator who can uh, help reassert the rules of the game. And we think that in the current uh, setup in Syria, where Russia is in the driver's seat, um, it can play a role, uh, given that it has good relations with, with both Israel and Iran slash Hezbollah, better than the United States, of course, and therefore can play a mediating role um, uh, to ensure that the two sides don't get into an accidental direct military confrontation. So it's not clear to us that Russia would be willing to do it, but it's clearly now the one that has, is the strongest power, outside power. Um, and therefore it does have a responsibility also to mediate and it also has an interest because frankly if it is Russia's in, uh, intention to settle uh, and stabilize Syria as a way of extract, extricating its own forces, then it certainly wouldn't want another fight to break out in the south, for example. So it is every interest uh, to uh, try to uh, come to some kind of new arrangement in the south between Israel and Iran slash Hezbollah.